As instruments go, ocarinas tend to be really, really affordable compared to others. However, even with ocarinas, how do you know you're getting a good deal and how do you even know how to look for your instrument? Today, we're going to talk about how to find affordable ocarinas. Not so much on specific models, more so how to find them. If you're buying your very first ocarina and affordability is your main concern, start by limiting your search to plastic. In almost every case, plastic will be far more affordable for a reliable instrument than their ceramic counterpart. And on top of that, plastic is basically indestructible. Destructible. If you drop your plastic ocarina, it will not break. Whereas if you drop your ceramic ocarina, chances are it'll break and it'll be messy and you'll be very sad. <sighs> so on that note, a good plastic ocarina will typically run you around $30 to $35 before tax and a good ceramic will typically be at least $60. On Amazon, I highly recommend that you look for the Knight by Noble. For focal link plastic ocarina, such as the Bravura or the Osawa models, both in Alto C and Soprano C, and you can even look for STL's plastic ocarinas on Amazon, though they're a little bit more expensive per unit than buying direct from STL. And you have to pay shipping either way, as you can see right here. So just buy from STL's website unless you really want to use like your Amazon credit card or something for cash back. Play around with it. Outside of Amazon, Songbird has a strong, albeit small, collection of plastics, including the Brio, the Bravura, and an Ocarina of Time. The Ocarina of Time functions like a pendant ocarina, so it's a little wonky, so I'd recommend the Brio or the Bravura for most people, unless you really really want an Ocarina of Time replica that looks authentic. SDL also has a ton of plastic options. My very first Ocarina was an STL plastic Ocarina. I think their 12 hole plastic Zelda tenor Ocarina specifically. And the plastic triple right here was my second Ocarina. SDL has quite solid plastic options. You can also buy Focal Link's Ocarinas direct from their website on steinocarina.com. Stein and Focal Link are the different names for the same company. However, shipping is very expensive, so you need to buy at least two or three Ocarinas to make it the same price per unit as buying via Amazon or Songbird. The Brio and Bravura that you get on Songbird are in fact supplied by Focal Link, and you can use code ANDY10 on Songbird for a little discount on that, so that's probably the cheapest way to get those ocarinas. But in general, I would probably recommend the Focal Link options the most. That would be the Brio, the Bravura, the Osawa Duo, or the Knight by Noble. The Knight by Noble is slightly cheaper on Amazon compared to the other plastic ocarina options. Let's say you're moving on from your days of plastic ocarinas and you want to get into ceramic ocarinas. How do you find those affordably? First, if you've watched any of my videos, you should know to basically rule out shopping for ceramic ocarinas on Amazon. If you search ceramic ocarina on Amazon, you'll see a ton of very appealing looking, professional looking options in the $15 to $30 price range. And chances are, all of them are crap, especially if they look like the Ocarina of Time. If you narrow your search to a specific Ocarina vendor, like Focal Link Ceramic Ocarina, these results will almost entirely be legitimate. But I would just say, buy from somewhere more reliable than Amazon, be safe, though you can find some reliable options if you know how to search for them. So if you search on Amazon, make sure you include the name of the vendor that you wanna buy from, otherwise just buy direct from the vendor. Another note for getting the best bang for buck on your Ocarina, that being you feel like you're getting higher quality than what you paid for is to avoid aesthetic premiums. For most affordable but good ceramic ocarinas like those from Songbird and Focal Link, the ones with more minimal designs will be cheaper, whereas the ones with more artistic designs will be a bit more expensive. The Allegro Alto C in black is $69 on Songbird, whereas the Black Rose Alto C on Songbird is $79. That said, once you get into the realm of very nice ocarinas, the more expensive ones will end up ironically being the more simple looking ones. Like if you go to the most expensive triple ocarinas on focal link they're all relatively simple looking. Not in a bad way, they look amazing, but they're not like overly designed or have a particular aesthetic beyond looking like they are clay ocarinas. Another thing to note is that the smaller the ocarina, the lower the price, so therefore the higher the notes, the lower the price. The opposite also applies. The lower the range, the higher the price. Because a base ocarina is bigger and requires more clay to make, so therefore it costs more. It also costs more to ship because it's heavier. So if you're looking for the absolute absolute most affordable options stick to Soprano C, Soprano G, or Alto C ocarinas. You can see that the least expensive Soprano on Songbird is $46, and the least expensive Alto is $69. To contrast this, the biggest, lowest note ocarina that Songbird has is their Contrabass, and it is $620 on sale. So in general, if you're trying to get the most affordable ocarinas, 
you'll probably want to stick to sopranos and altos. That said, the vendor Imperial City does have really, really affordable options in the base world. Their 12 hole base is $106, which is really not that bad. And their triple base C is only $145, which is insanely cheap. Compare that to the cheapest base ocarina on SDL, which is their max range triple base, which is $439, nearly triple the price of Imperial City. So if you really need an affordable multi-chamber or base ocarina, you cannot go wrong checking with Imperial City. We've already discussed a lot of ocarina vendors as well as their strengths and weaknesses, but let's go into a bit more detail. I will note that I'm speaking from the experience of someone who lives in America and almost exclusively orders from vendors that sell to America. If you want to buy from a vendor that does not have international shipping like Focalink, I would recommend that you buy from Songbird or STL. In fact, Songbird is a vendor for very many Focalink ocarinas. And you can use code ANDY10 for a discount if you shop from Songbird. SDL also has a lot of really good options, but basically SDL and Songbird will typically have the lowest shipping fees because they ship from America. Some quick honorable mentions from these sites. First, I know I said Imperial City has the cheapest base ocarinas, but that's the cheapest 12 hole or multi-chamber base. The very cheapest base C ocarina that you can get is the Seed Pod from Songbird, which you can also get through Focalink, but Focalink will have international shipping and be a lot more expensive unless you buy a bunch of ocarinas. So the Seed Pod base C from Songbird, that is the very cheapest base C ocarina that you can get in ceramic. And I have a review on this ocarina if you're curious, though it's just a different color. And the honorable mention for STL is that they have the most affordable Ocarina of Time replica for you Zelda fans. I have the 12 hole Ocarina of Time replica that's right here. Granted, I have both Songbird Songbird and Spencer's Ocarina of Time replicas as well now, but this was like my daily driver for like playing Zelda songs at conventions for a very long time. And don't be confused when you see like Ocarinas of Crap that look eerily similar to STL's Ocarina of Time replica. These are basically copycats of that instrument. The STL Ocarina of Time replica is legit. Moving on to vendors that ship internationally, I highly recommend both Imperial City and Focalink. Many of Focalink's Ocarinas are supplied to other vendors like Songbird, so you should check there if you don't want to have to deal with international shipping time and cost and use code ANDY10. But if you buy in bulk, you can get pretty cheap per unit shipping from Focalink, even though it's international. For example, I just put this Black Rose Ocarina in my cart. The Ocarina is $46, the shipping is $32. That makes the total $78. However, if we increase that to two units, the price per Ocarina does not go up, but the shipping remains the same. So it's $124 total or $62 per Ocarina, which is a lot cheaper than if you buy from Songbird. That said, this does require you to buy bulk orders from Focalink if you buy from them to get the best prices possible. So if you're only buying one Ocarina, I would generally recommend you buy from a Focalink vendor rather than from Focalink themselves. But if you're buying in bulk, go crazy buying from Focalink. And then once again, if you want the most affordable, high quality multi-chamber ocarinas, just buy from Imperial City. I have this base triple in the key of C and it is one of my absolute favorite ocarinas and I cannot believe it was only $145. I don't remember exactly how much shipping and taxes were, but even with shipping and taxes, it is absurd how affordable this was. There are more ocarina vendors that you can buy from in America. For example, the ocarina that I use in Okaman is by Claudio Colombo, shipped from Italy, 180 euro plus shipping. So if you do some research, you can find even more vendors that do ship to America, but I generally recommend starting with the best established ones. They'll typically have the best prices. I've gone over many options for buying new ocarinas, but there's a lot of places you can buy used ocarinas. For example, this person right here is selling a Songbird Ocarina of Time replica for $60. And I think that's an alternate version because it's only 10 holes. So that might even be like some cool exclusive one. Once I found a very nice Focalink ocarina for less than half the price of buying from Focalink. I didn't get it because it would have been like a three hour drive total to get it, but you'd be surprised where you can find secondhand. That said, if you just search Ocarina, you'll see a lot of listings for Ocarinas of Crap, as well as just Ocarina of Time, the game. This one on the top left looks like an Ocarina of Crap. This one bottom right from it, which looks like the Ocarina of Time, looks like an Ocarina of Crap. Many of the manufacturers of these Ocarinas of Crap flood secondhand sites like Facebook Marketplace and eBay. So just like on Amazon, you have to be careful. Like if I search Ocarina on eBay, literally the entire first page of results is all Ocarina 
ocarinas of crap. At least most of the first page of results. Like you can find fun stuff like antique ocarinas as well right here. You can also probably find ocarina centric Facebook groups where people do resell their ocarinas. The biggest ones that I know of are the ocarina network and the global ocarina community. Though I hardly ever check Facebook, so I wouldn't be your best source for that. And there are also ocarina vendors that sell exclusively through Facebook like Ocarina Luna Chelta. They are a Mexican ocarina maker, and I believe you just buy by shooting them an email and saying which ocarina you want. I don't own any of their instruments, so everyone who I know who has bought an ocarina through them has given it a fantastic review. And if you look at their prices, they seem to be quite affordable, like an Alto C for $65, a double Alto C for $80, or a triple base C for $200. So their prices are very reasonable. I just haven't bought from them yet. So if you're on the non-traditional ocarina buying path, definitely consider checking out Luna Chalta on Facebook. But what about Europe? <laughs> I do occasionally get comments of people asking where they can get ocarinas in Europe, and I don't really know. I don't live in Europe. I don't have European Google search results. However, I do know one vendor that sells Focalink ocarinas in Germany. Also, Claudio Colombo is based in Italy, so that's a European vendor. But for people in the EU, specifically Germany, you can go to, I don't know how to pronounce this correctly, but Tommen Ocarina. They have a lot of ocarinas by Focalink as well as from other makers, it seems. This 12-hole C3 Edelweiss green, that's a focal link ocarina. This uh, dark blue, I believe that is the Bravura in dark blue. So if you're in Germany or the EU at large, you do have options. I'm not your best source for that, but there are places you can find ocarinas. Go to tommen.de and you should be able to find something. Also, if you're in Europe, consider looking at the secondhand market because a lot of people buy their ocarinas internationally and then resell them when they trim their collection. So keep an eye out. If you know any more vendors in Europe, please let me know in the comments. Don't put the link, just put the name of the vendor because YouTube will automatically remove your comment if you put a link. That covers what I know about getting affordable ocarinas in Europe. And if you're in like Japan, Korea, Taiwan, or China, you're fine. There's so many ocarina makers there. Like Focalink is a Taiwanese company. If you're in that region, you're so flush with ocarinas, I'm jealous. And you're also probably not watching this video because it's in English. Like I said at the beginning, ocarinas are affordable instruments. Sometimes you have to do convoluted things to get them for the best price, like doing a group order or bulk order on Focalink or code Andy10 on Songbird. But let's just put things into perspective. Even the most absolutely amazing ocarinas, like the equivalent of like a Stradivarius violin, those ocarinas are like $500 to $1,500 usually, very rarely any more than that. A violin of the equivalent quality would be at minimum like $20,000. And a decent starter violin will probably be $500 to $1,000. The very best ocarinas cost the same as a starter violin. It is absolutely amazing that you can get a performance ready instrument for under $100. There are very few instruments where $100 would get you a performance ready model like not even a trumpet, flute, violin, whatever. For ocarinas, it can. That said, if the affordability of ocarinas is a perk to you, chances are you want to get the very best bang for your buck. Start with plastic as you learn the instrument, and when you're ready, upgrade to ceramic and multi-chamber. Also, make sure you avoid the way too crappy, way too cheap ceramic ocarinas on Amazon. Those are a legitimate scam because there's no quality control and those instruments usually suck. Most of my channel's growth is because I call those makers out. And speaking of when you're ready to upgrade your instrument, you should watch my video on when to upgrade your ocarinas. Whether you're going from plastic to ceramic, single chamber to multi-chamber, the key of C to something else, I got you covered. Thank you to my patrons, especially my $5 tier patron Joshua. And you can support me for as little as $1 a month on patreon.com slash Andy Cormier. Otherwise, leave a like, subscribe for more, comment any useful ocarina deals that you may find, and I'll see you next time. Happy tootin'.